Good afternoon. My name is Won Hee Jo from Kungmin University in Korea. Our presentation title is Big Data Analysis with Interactive Visualization Using R Packages. Mm. This is our presentation uh, overview. This paper content is Interactive Visualization of Big Data. We consider impact of visualization of big data. Important fact, uh, factor is to extract meaningful information. And we need interactive visualization that provides an effective uh, data analysis in a short time of period. And we compared and analyzed uh, various, uh, several R packages for interactive visualization. Uh, R, OK, Shiny, Google BIS, R, Google Map packages. And we show interactive visualization results and uh, some example code and the uh, result screen using R packages. Uh, this is a related work and reviews. Uh, critical uh, success factor for big data analyze, analysis uh, is data integration and pre processing. In order to be successful in big data analysis, it is necessary to integrate a data source and having various features and to keep the data quality during pre-processing steps. And Ventry defines several steps for information visualization, uh, acquiring, uh, parsing, filtering, mining, representing, refining, interacting. This is uh, another uh, research. Uh, Yuri proposed three steps for visualization process from data to information, from information to visual representation, and from visual representation to understanding. He emphasized that user can easily understand visual representation through combination of uh, visualization and interaction. Uh, this page explains data visualization analysis technology and method. Nadan Yao uh, classified types of uh, infographics visualization in his book with a uh, uh, number of presentation components, time, pro proportion, relationship, uh, comparison, and spatial relationships. MJ Kim introduced a hierarchy of uh, interactive on digital environment. Uh, bottom level is interaction with the object, and middle level is hyperlink or hierarchical interaction. And top level is direct user interaction to modify and affect the contents. We studied uh, the problems and requirements of uh, the big data visualization techniques. Uh, for ex uh, effective visualization analysis, uh, it is necessary to view the summary information of the whole data set and to search or access the raw data interactively. We propose a general processing and five steps, acquiring, formatting, ranging, mining, visualizing. In ranging uh, stage, uh, it is for categorizing and filtering target data set. In mining stage, uh, it is for extracting meaningful information by using statistics and mining. Uh, in visualizing stage, it is for present information. Oh, sorry. Uh, while visualizing the big data analysis, backward to ranging step, focus on another analytical aspect, reclassification uh, and filtering of the uh, formatted data with the interesting criteria of the big data and to mining step, apply another static statistic and mining technique. Uh, R is an important tool uh, for big data analytics, but it is not originally for interactive service. So, uh, many R developers uh, have built various supporting packages for visualization and interactive services. In this paper, we introduced and studied uh, several R packages, ROK, Shiny, ROK, Shiny, 
Google DIS, and I Google Maps. ROK is a web sub server interface uh, for R. Chang is a dominant uh, presentation tool. And, uh, we can use an uh, uh, excellent Google Chat tool API uh, if we use a uh, Google DIS package. And we, we can use uh, uh, R uh, Google Static Map uh, if we use uh, R Google Map package. Uh, R Google Map uh, is useful for spatial big data analysis. Uh, we compared to the pros and cons of other packages for interactive and visualization. Uh, the details are shown in the paper. This picture is the, the interactive visualization structure using R, which is proposed in this paper. Uh, the bottom level uh, collect, collection step is to collect data through ETL, crawling, uh, open API, and other collectors. Processing step is to extract statistical information through a batch program or a map list program. Uh, visualization step is to visualize the information by using various R graphic packages. And interactive program step is to interact with R web packages by going back to step three. And visualizing information and interactive steps work together. Work together. Uh, to react mutually and in interactively. Uh, this configuration is functional subdivision for interactive visualization of big data analysis. A uh, robot uh, uh, three ways uh, to re retrieve data from storage. On the left, manage this mechanism through our hive on hard for big data, and middle, in the middle, MySQL query for static information using our MySQL package, and on the right, a direct uh, read function toward raw data uh, using read functions. Upper part is uh, uh, for how to interact with the user. Uh, I can get input data from users by using get and post uh, functions and create HTML code and graphics and then present them on user screen. Uh, these are sample codes of main function uh, using uh, ROK and Google BIS. Uh, left side is an example code of the function structure and right side is an example code for queries. There are some queries valid uh, for valid uh, R hype query and uh, R MySQL query and Google BIS API. Before showing the results, uh, we want to explain the input, input big data we used. Uh, input big data is DTG, digital topograph for commercial vehicle uh, data. Uh, a vehicle generates uh, 4 megabytes, uh, about 4 megabytes per day. Um, it contains uh, data, date, time, and speed, RPM, GPS coordinates, brake signal, acceleration factor, and etc. A commercial car, uh, 200 vehicles per company. And we used up to 1 and 2 uh, terabytes for 4,000 vehicles during 6 months. Uh, this screen is the result uh, for the analysis uh, using ROK and Google BIS. Uh, upper left side is correlation index of uh, speed and RPM, and right side is map list result, and downside is the result of clustering functions of a summary data. Uh, this picture shows uh, visualization of a sensor, sensor raw data viewer uh, using Shiny and R Google Map packages. Uh, upper uh, left side, Shiny controller, and right side, uh, time series plotting chart with speed, RPM, brake, and acceleration signals. Uh, it shows speed in red, red plot is speed 
and RPM is blue, and acceleration in green, brake signal in black. Uh, we can see GPS data of the car's trajectory on the Google map uh, related to the set data. Uh, this is our conclusion. Uh, visualization uh, the, is the most necessary method for big data analysis and understanding. And we present uh, the interactive web visualized analysis environment uh, for big data using several packages. And we introduced the program structure for big data uh, interactive visualization and uh, showed the example code and sample result screen. Uh, the future research needs to apply the uh, proposed analyst approach to the large data set and observe the analytical results. Thank you. Any questions, please? Uh, thank you. Uh, hi, here. Hi. Um, um, I, I had some experience with uh, Shiny and uh, our Google Map, and they are all good, very, very good packages. And uh, I think they are very useful for, for visualizing the big data, but uh, I have some um, some unpleasant uh, experience, for example, dealing with um, large network data. And I didn't find any uh, good package that can support this uh, application. So I'm just curious to know if you are aware of any um, package in R that is uh, good for social network analysis, for example. I mean, especially when the, uh, the size of the network is very large, uh, maybe larger than 100,000 nodes, because it, the visualization after that will become very messy. Thank you. All right. This is just the raw data. Uh, raw data size is uh, 4 megabytes uh, trajectory. So it's just very uh, light, I think. Uh, this is the uh, big data managed uh, result is uh, this uh, uh, screen. Uh, uh, using uh, ROK and Google BIS. Uh, the, uh, we we analyzed uh, a lot of big data uh, using uh, memories. So memories uh, uh, produce uh, the summary, just summary uh, information and data. So we can uh, show uh, through the network uh, the data is very uh, light. So let me interrupt uh, the Q&A because uh, you yeah, have a colleague and I'm, as an advisor, I'm just trying to help the Q&A session. So we just uh, collect data and just use the batch data to analyze. So we didn't use a kind of connected or internet, uh, the connected uh, the kind of data to uh, use. So it's just already collected from the, all the vehicles and we just analyze it. So we just use the package, but it's not connected to the internet online. So what we need is uh, by using the uh, DTG data, that is uh, the uh, commercial vehicle, usually the collected data under the regulation of the Korean government, and they just start kind of a strict regulation to install the DTG uh, uh, the device to collect some kind of a, the, a behavior of the, the vehicle. So we just collect all the data on the one place and just try to analyze the kind of force of safe on uh, the driving. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I mean, I mean, the shiny is good for its interactive uh, visualization, and the Google Map, our Google Map is the you know the connecting tools that you can easily use the uh, Google Map uh, functions. I'm just felt interesting to know if uh, you know any uh, uh, good package that uh, support uh, uh, networking. Data, but this is compar apparently not a, a network data. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, okay. Any other questions?